It is the 3rd of the 4th, 2014. This is your radioactive reality. Day number 1,119. Any news? Award-winning project finds seafood sold in Canada with high radiation levels. Many samples well over contamination limit. Quote, incredible discovery, something unexpected may be lurking in Canadian waters. Believes dangerous Fukushima pollution carried across the ocean. Quote, I will hope people will open their eyes. Now this isn't a government study. It wasn't done by any colleges. This was done by a high school student for a Canadian science fair. Apparently they went to the local grocery store and bought over 300 samples of seaweed from around the Pacific region, widely available in all the local grocery store chains, and tested them for radiation. Most of the samples were alarmingly high. And uh, the insanity continues. Just so you know, the Canadians quit testing in 2012. What's really in your grocery store? The insanity continues. Foreign reporters find radiation levels over 100 times legal limit off Fukushima. Captain, radioactive releases may last until the end of the earth. Deep sense of dread set in when they pulled up. Stop, don't go any closer. I don't blame them. World deserves an honest assessment of disaster. A worst case scenario come to life. And I doubt if we ever know the true measure of what's really going on with the nuclear industry on this planet. Shut them all down. Massive M, uh, magnitude 8.2 earthquake in eastern Pacific triggers tsunami. Fukushima plant cancels work, cooling pumps and emergency generators move to higher ground. Agency warned high waves could reach Japan early tomorrow. This is in a big tragic tsunami uh, sweeping across the Pacific like back in 2011. They are taking precautions. Hmm. Surprisingly high concentrations of Fukushima cesium found in Vancouver area. Since ocean currents slow down, levels are increasing. Might be hot spots where radiation concentrates, you think. Chances are high for marine life to absorb it. Concerned about mussels, clams, and oysters, and everything else in the Pacific Ocean. This is not going away. Ever. Government not measuring worst of Fukushima radiation. Big surprise. Over 100 million gallons of radioactive bleeding into the ocean from the plants. We're beginning to see radiation in West Coast water. Very concerned about eating fish from the Pacific. They're not taking under consideration all the rivers full of nuclear material. Um, flowing out into the Pacific Ocean every day because of their decontamination efforts. A lot of these Yakuza-run um, subcontractors just dump this soil right into the riverbeds and let the water take it away. It's been documented and known to happen over and over again. The insanity continues. Unsafe levels of radiation were released during whip accidents, you think? More workers contaminated with plutonium. Leak of radioactive material could have been, quote, order of magnitude larger. Feds now testing air and soil 50 miles from the site. Uh, Fukushima crisis much more severe than we were led to believe. Mind boggling. Small quake could tip over reactors and start it all over again. This is fact. Got severely damaged buildings in a highly seismic zone. Japan selling out to the devil if they restart nuclear power plants and they are actively pursuing that. You better believe it. U.S. Senators want federal agents near WIP to check if it's safe. <laughs> yeah, like they're gonna tell us. A lot more people could have been hurt a lot worse. Public skeptical, skeptical the whole truth about the environmental risk shared a report it will shut WIP down for a year or more. Now everyone is talking about maybe WIP is no good. So now in New Mexico we're going to have this festering radioactive pool of God knows what. <sighs> Forever. You think they're ever going to get all that out of there? 
the insanity continues, and these are just the ones we know about. Experts agree many species of wildlife and fisheries are endangered globally due to the large release of radioactive into the ocean. At Fukushima, has Fukushima radiation entered New Zealand ecosystem? The well, study goes into the mutton birds. Now, they tested the mutton birds about a year after the, right after the Fukushima crisis started, and uh, they did find cesium in the feathers and stuff. So this, these birds migrate to Asia and back to New Zealand every year. It's just part of their cycle, and uh, definitely canaries in the coal mine. More workers rush to hospital at U.S. nuclear site. This is Hanford in Washington State. Boiling our ass for about, what, 50, 60 years now. 17 second in the past week. Former employee. It's pretty scary to have this many in eight days is really abnormal. So eight. So 17 people in, in eight days is really abnormal. What's normal? One or two? Company, we're trying to understand what is happening. Hmm. We've been on and on about Hanford. It's never going away. Alarm goes off after accident at Fukushima Unit 4 fuel pool. Workers suspended after crane trouble. Workers have been monitoring radiation levels. Uh, I guess the official TEPCO story is that one of the workers left the parking brake on the crane when they tried to operate it. And the alarms went off, of course, and then when he released the brake and tried to resume work, nothing worked. Everything shut down because of the alarms. Blah, blah, blah. And uh, we can't put a lot of weight into what TEPCO says. The NRC documents have already proven that number three and number four burnt. The fuel, uh, spent fuel poles burnt multiple times. Mexicans concerned anxious about whip radiation release. A city of two and a half million, nearly 200 miles away. Quote, within transitional evacuation zone in event of a nuclear disaster. Local officials meeting with U.S. government. Whistleblower, if plutonium release surrounding population should take precautions. You think they're going to evacuate two and a half million people? I don't think so. Don't worry, folks. Everything's completely under control. Eleven workers at U.S. nuclear site transported to med medical facilities, suffering nosebleeds, chest pains, coughing up blood. Multiple locations evacuated. Again, this is in Hanford. Persistent systems, extremely unusual worker. The place is falling apart. Serious problems out there. They slapped this thing together decades ago. Open pit burial. What were they thinking? Inside source, government officials are withholding Fukushima radiation devil, uh, data. Big surprise. Levels much higher than expected. Releasing numbers would have a huge impact. Over 2,000 millisieverts per year where residents are being encouraged to return. Don't worry, folks. Everything is completely under control. Radiation expert. Five types of plutonium are released from WIP. Officials not informing the public. Helen Caldicott, I predict that facility will never be able to be used again. That's a pretty fair assumption. Inhaling a millionth of a gram of plutonium will induce lung cancer. Let's talk about MOX fuel at the Fukushima plant. Went into aerosol form. We've been breathing it for three years. Everybody's playing the plutonium lottery now. Ah... Uh, And it goes on and on, of course. Over to fukuleaks.org or simply info. Two Japanese power companies ask for bailouts. Um, two companies is asking for government bank to give them money. Both are complaining about unexpected costs involving operating without their nuclear power plants. Shut them all down. Shut them all down now. Unit 2 frozen trance insulation begins at Fukushima Daiichi. This is a disaster in its own waiting to happen. Work has begun to freeze the Unit 2 trench at Fukushima Daiichi. This has been a problematic area since the initial disaster. <laughs> the insanity continues. Here's one for my British people. 
UK reactor shut down five months without informing the public. The Dungeness nuclear power plant was shut down for five months to deal with inadequate, inadequate flood protection issues. What is more unusual is that the public was never informed by the operator or the country's nuclear regulator. The area has been subject to severe flooding in the recent years, but both the operator and, rec and regulator knew the plant was at risk. Interesting. And of course, they've got stories on down the line where they're reopening towns in Fukushima, paying people to go back. Is that going to cover their medical costs for their cancer? Uh, Fukushima Diary, finally. Uh, TEPCO, we hadn't injected seawater into spent fuel of reactor number one. Um, they're telling, saying they're freely admitting they, they've been pouring salt water into one or two, three, and four. Spent fuel pools, what's that do to the metal? Uh, but they're saying they haven't done it into, they just did it the initial days in unit number one, but since the cover's off, um, the salt water levels in the fuel pool is going to rise, whatever. Um, salt water and metal don't mix, if you don't know. TEPCO doesn't analyze the Pacific seawater in the east of Fukushima plant outside of 30 kilometer radius area. Why should they test in international waters? The insanity continues. And of course, he's got a bunch more stories. Uh, that's about all I have for you today. Of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Uh, attach your comments or videos down in the comment box. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.